right guys, I am super stoked to announce the Razor build is finally done. All put back together, powder coat's done, spring's done. And I even have my uh, brackets for my cooler and my toolbox coated. Got the whips hooked back up. Got the Evo exhaust muffler on there, high clearance uh, radius rods. Freaking, I mean, you can tell the difference like stock versus uh, aftermarket. It's insane how much beefier some of these parts get. Trailing arms coated, springs coated. The whole thing just, I mean, this color is insane. I mean, you can tell. Uh, has a red flake to it so it's a gray to red with a red flake we had our door frames powder coated the roll cage that I did um, we chopped it five inches added some supports the front support up here uh, sleeved it welded it went to powder like our uh, switches now the whole dash is different we used to only have like the two switch spots on each side. Now we got all of them. Our salt rear view mirrors. Our light bar single row up top. And one peeking out that scoop. So this model is just the 1000. It's not the turbo. Um, 1000s don't even come with that hood. I got that from a turbo. So as far as airflow, it's not a big deal. Until got the rock sliders powder coated. Installed on the control arms Whole roofs done Headlights tail lights tinted. I mean This thing just looks insane I'm super stoked with how it turned out. I'm so happy um, One thing the wife asked me to do is move our speakers up here our dog rides in the back a lot so She was concerned that it was hurting his ears when I had it loud enough to where we can hear it but yeah, let's so we have the GNOME NUT V5, I believe, sound system. But let's show you uh, the rock lights. We installed rock lights on this bad boy. Things are insane. Our whips. And then one more. Boom. And just, this thing looks super aggressive. From the front I'm just I'm kind of lost for words we have our super ATV extra wide fender flares no more uh, getting hit with rocks in the arm as I have my arm on the door but we have the eight light kit for rock lights like I said I control them all for my phone I can change them colors and everything else super awesome kit the whips I can change colors as well these are uh, 5150 whips. One thing I might do is actually go to shorter ones. Because I do a lot of trail riding and stuff. And I don't know if you guys have ever had whips on the trail. But they hit trees, rip my flags off, things like that. Now we've had one coat of ceramic coat put on this already. I'm going to have it done again. Uh, next week I'm having a guy come detail it and ceramic it again. Uh, I got my voltage deal here with a couple USB ports, the stereo rocker, all those. I got the Rough Country winch control hooked up. Um, one thing that I'm kind of a little bit disappointed about on this winch is it doesn't have the remote, the wireless remote. So if I get in a hairy situation that I need the winch, I am going to have to sit in the razor and just ride it through. But luckily, we got the harnesses, pass-throughs, cages stiffened up. So I do trust it if things go south. Um, well, I mean, I hope I do. I welded it, so hopefully the welds hold. I'm trusting my life and my welds, so hopefully they're good enough. But, yeah, I'm positive they will be. One thing I kind of want to do is some rock sliders. But I think for now, for this season, this is it. Um, hopefully, 
I will give you guys updates on how well the Plasti Dip spray and everything holds up throughout the year. Um, maybe like a three month review or something. We're probably going to start going riding again here real soon. Weather's starting to change here in Utah. Get a little bit warmer, getting a little bit of spring fever going on. But yeah, I'm beyond stoked with how this thing turned out. It's just night and day difference for sure. Love it. The UTV giant doors, I mean, best bang for your buck, 650 bucks. And they look like the $1,200 set of doors. I mean, they take a little bit to kind of finesse and uh, get adjusted right. But I love them. Um, for the price, you can't beat it. Same with the sound system. Um, eventually, I want to get uh, rugged radios. Be a lot easier. But for now, some handheld CBs and that sound system works just fine for us. But yeah. Let me know what you guys think. If you want any work done, hit me up. We can get you taken care of. But yeah, that is effectively it for this video.